Archer, obviously not the result the guys were looking for tonight, a three-point loss. What was the message after that game? Yeah, look, we probably let ourselves down in the first uh, quarter and a bit. Um, it's fair to say uh, they, they, they jump-started pretty well and uh, we're behind the eight ball from, from there on in. But uh, the guys dug deep and we got ourselves back in the game somehow and I think we hit the front in the last quarter. And it's a bit disappointing to lose the game, but um, yeah, we've got bigger fish to fry now, so we're really looking forward to next week. I guess one thing you'll be really looking at is making the most of those opportunities. I think there were four behinds kicked and then Richmond ran down the other end and kicked the winning goal. That's obviously something that's a real focus heading into the final. Yeah, look, just a couple of skill errors here and there and um, that, that can be uh, uh, executed a bit better and we can, we can go from there. But for our effort to, to really pick up after that, last, after that first quarter was, was really good and, and that's, that's the sign that we wanted to see. Um, we were behind the eight ball but we dug in and, and the guys put in some great effort and um, that holds us in good stead for next week. I guess looking at the positives it looks like there's no injuries from tonight, everyone's pulled up quite well and there's about five or six guys on the sidelines who hopefully will be fit heading into next week. That must be something that is encouraging despite the loss. Yeah look it's always good to get through um, a game with, with no injuries uh, and the guys on the sidelines um, if, they, if they come back it'd be fantastic and um, good luck to the coaching staff trying to pick a team for next week because the boys are all ready to go and I'm, I'm tipping it's going to be a big week on the track. And how are you feeling? You of course had a little bit of a hiccup again with the ankle a couple of weeks ago. Are you, are you feeling like it's really picking up now? Yeah, look, I'm just trying to get into some form and um, I thought I took a step tonight and, and hopefully uh, I can take another step next week and um, I'm fighting fit and ready to go. Looks like it'll be Frio back here next week at some stage. They had a really close game against Port but managed to get over the line. What can you expect from them? Oh, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, for our fantastic football team, and Rossi Lyons done a great job with, along with Pav, and um, we know what we're going to get, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's it's one of those challenges you want, and you don't play footy for any other reason. And to play Freo in the first final is going to be great for us, and hopefully we can um, come here again next week and, and get over the line. I guess it doesn't mean much right now, and maybe I guess maybe something to the fans, but it is the minor premiership. It's the first time in quite a while. That's a little bit of icing on the cake, I guess. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a great effort. Don't don't uh, worry about that. We're, we're really proud of what we've achieved this year. The boys have been fantastic. Um, I think it's the first time we've done it uh, up in Sydney. I think maybe, um, but look, I'm really I'm really happy with the way the boys are going about it this year, and to finish on top is a fantastic effort, as as Horse said to us, and. Um, but now the season starts, it starts right now and this is the most important part of the year.